Coming up on this week's show, our celebs get into action with an ABS workout. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good job. That's Good job. Crazy. Before we see who really can park in our charity challenge, and then it's time for Zoe Brown and Sashi Naidu to dazzle us on track. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Speed Stars. Now, if there was ever any doubt about how serious our celebrity guests take this competition, last week's guest pairing certainly put that to rest. Rugby star Ryan Kankowski, I think probably would have found himself at the top of the leaderboard were it not for a massive moment up at turn five that could possibly end up costing him come the end of the season. Cricketer Danae Fanikak, well, she trumped all of the lady competitors to date, but there are still four ladies still to come, so her position isn't secure. Having a look at our leaderboard, though, the sad news is Elma and Julia are out of our top eight. But those that are sitting in the top eight, their positions aren't secure either because we've yet to reveal our two public contestants' times. So who is going to be contesting that final at the end of the season? The top eight making it through that race here at Swartkops. And more importantly, will our next two guests be in with a shout? Lights, camera, action. This is where model, presenter and actress Sashi Naidu feels most at home. But will she still be smiling when the lights go out? I don't think there's any sexy way of getting into a restaurant. No, not at all. A self-confessed ordinary girl, the multi-talented Zoe Brown has her own show on KFM and is part of the popular Espresso team. We're hoping her performance behind the wheel will be extraordinary. Who's worse? <laughs> the Terminator or the Cape wow. <laughs> Both were bad. Because <laughs> I claim the other. I'm so glad we've got Zoe Brown, Sashi Naidu on the show because we need to beautify her speed stars. <laughs> there have been a lot of really ugly oaks sitting at the top of that leaderboard. So nice mm. to have the two of you here. Thank you. Thank you. There's some brains going on here, though. You <laughs> studied chiropractic. chiropractic. Yes. And you're trying to change the world with international relations. I went po the political route, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> brains. That's impressive. So, so it, it does exist, eh? beauty and brains. Uh, how did you end up getting Zoe into what you're doing now? Well, I did international relations. So while I was studying on campus, I really wanted to be in media. And that's how I got onto campus radio, from campus radio, commercial radio. And only once I did radio, people suggested, well, why don't you try TV? So it was never a big dream. Space for TV. But it always just happened. Yeah, I'm <laughs> glad you said that. I don't want to look like you've got a face for radio. Yeah. Yes, we didn't say that. Look, it's interesting. Elmo, who was on one of our previous shows, actually said, Best grounding for television to come from radio because you formulate your thoughts. You agree? Yes, I do, 100%. Yeah. And I feel like there's just something about, like, it's two different platforms, but it's such fun platforms. So I can't choose between the two, yeah. but I'm grateful mm -hmm. to be in both. Well, you don't have to. You've got the best of both. Okay, I love Cape Town, but now we're going to gloat on about PE <laughs> a little bit because Sashi yeah. and I went to the same school, Zoe. Both yeah. Alexandra, so very when cool. I was in standard six, I mean, I think they call it grade eight now. Oh, yeah. God, you've lost me. Yeah. <laughs> He was deputy head boy. Uh -huh. I had the biggest crush on him. Oh, Why are you telling me this now, all these years <laughs> later? I didn't, I didn't know that then. Okay, so chiropractic, I've got to understand this. How did you then get into doing what you're doing? Because that is interesting. Is it like it's the a, manipulation it's a thing? It's a, <laughs> no, it's a huge shift. I, it was completely random. Uh, one of my part-time jobs as a student was delivering flowers or putting together floral arrangements. And I was delivering flowers to an ad agency one day, and someone like, Storm past me, are you here for the casting? Are you here for the casting? I'm like, no, I'm just delivering your flowers. Oh, yeah. So, and I was like, okay, I'm, and I just sneaked into the casting anyway. And I got that job, and when I got the paycheck, I was like, oh, this plays a lot more than flowers. Yeah. So I try to give it a go. It's amazing that those opportunities, because I think that's what it comes down to. People might say, oh, you lucky. But mm -hmm. it really is about getting that chance and, and taking it with, with both hands. Mm -hmm. I don't what believe it, in luck, to be honest. It doesn't exist, <laughs> eh? Yeah. No. 
But Zoe, what, what do you think the biggest challenge is in this industry? Because obviously you're in the public eye for both of you. Is it that, that people kind of expect you to look a certain way and behave a certain way? Is that a real pressure for you? For me, it's never been a pressure of necessarily looking a certain way, but I mean, I jumped into an industry where I was working among people that were quite established and I came from zero experience mm. to now joining them on the show. Um, for me, it was more about how can I be me and how can I find my own identity within this industry? And I think a lot of people try to be certain things they think they should be and I think that could eventually also be your downfall. So yeah. I think the biggest challenge is to, for me to be authentic and it's very difficult because there are so many, you know, booby yeah. traps and so many things that could easily influence you that makes it difficult. Yeah, it's, it's good to be grounded. I mean, I agree. And I think also your background, you know, having gone through the studying thing that you've actually done some, you've got a career, you've expanded into the business side of things as well because Definitely. this industry is tricky. I mean, there isn't necessarily yes. a lot of work to go around and, and remaining fresh and keeping yourself alive in the business requires you to be a multitasker. Absolutely. And that's what you do exceptionally well. I think I've always had kind of an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm. You know, when I was very, very young, I used to like two years old, I was making mud cakes and selling them to the neighbors. So <gasps> Flowers, <laughs> mud cakes, wow. Yeah, I've always been like on a hustle somehow. But yeah, I think I really enjoyed the industry I was in. And I think as a model, you've got to know, you, you have a limited time within mm. that industry. So I decided why not? make a percentage of 100 people's effort then rather than just focus on my own effort. So that's why I started Lelouchy, the agency, and it's, I've never looked back. It's really, really I well. suppose you also understand, having come through the ranks and worked in that business, how the business should run, how to look after models too, because a, uh, a lot of bad publicity the agencies often, mm. often get. Can you drive, Zoe? Can I drive? <laughs> I, I like to think I'm a good driver. You said you drive better backwards. I, I prefer reversing. I find, find that my strength. We're going to find out. In terms out. of speed, I think I'm a little bit more of a cautious driver, so I don't like to speed. I'm a Jobo driver. I'm from PE, but I'm definitely a Johannesburg driver. <laughs> I'm aggressive. I get in there. You know how to take a gap. So yeah, you, I, so you I would leave, wait, and yeah. then people no. would hoot, be like, please no. go. <laughs> so, Sasha, you leave PE behind when the light goes green. <laughs> Okay, what I'd like to do though is teach you to be safer drivers first before we put you on the racetrack. Now you guys at home are already familiar with our safety lessons and usually we're teaching you what you should do to become better drivers. So this week we thought, hey, let's flip it on its head. Let's show you what the car is doing to keep you on the road. ABS is not responsible for stopping a car but is a system that works with your brakes to prevent your wheels from locking up or skidding in an emergency braking situation. This lesson is about ABS. Now you're gonna to have to drive the car with ABS on and you're gonna drive the car without ABS on. So you're gonna feel the difference and see what the capabilities of the car are with ABS on and ABS off. As Chops explained, we've disabled the ABS on our VW apps to give our stars a better understanding of just how the system works. Accelerate, accelerate. Now brakes, 10 steering wheel off the brakes. <laughs> now as you can see, with the wheels locked, it is impossible to steer the car and avoid a collision. Oh. That's it, did you feel it? Yes. Did you feel when you release the brakes? The vehicle was a little bit jerky. Yeah, there you go. Without steering inputs, you have no control. Hot, 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 wow. that's, it. that's it, that's it. Good job, that's good crazy. job. Now touching brake, turn the steering wheel. Oh my gosh, nothing's happening. That's it. It's quite scary without ABS. Like you have zero control of turning it. I can't actually believe they allow cars on the road without ABS. I mean, I was turning, but just nothing was happening. So yeah, scary thoughts. As soon as you hit on brakes, the brakes are trying to work, but they just lock up immediately. It's a bit scary when you're in a car that's moving at a speed and you actually don't have control of it. So it's good to actually learn. With speed sensors on the wheels, the system can pick up if one or more wheels are trying to lock and very quickly reacts by braking and releasing up to 25 times per second. Which is why, even if you had two wheels on the dirt and had to hit the brakes, the car would not spin, but would stop in a straight line. So we got our stars to do exactly what they did before, but this time with the ABS activated. No skidding, in control, and with the car responding to their steering inputs, they were able to swerve and avoid hitting the cones. The visuals certainly tell the story. You actually feel like you do have control of the car, so I think it went well. 
I went faster, I braked later, and I still didn't kill anyone. <laughs> that is reason to smile, Emma. Another critical life-saving system is the vehicle stability control. This system works in conjunction with your ABS, so that when a loss of steering control is detected, brakes are actually applied to help steer the car where you intended it to go. Without you even touching the brakes, the system will apply brakes to wheels individually, like your outer front wheel to counter oversteer and the inner rear wheel to counter understeer. Some systems even cut engine power. Electronic stability control is your guardian angel. No car should be sold without it. Had a lot of fun mm -hmm. skidding on a skid pan. Very cool. <laughs> first time you've ever got to do that, I bet. Yes. Absolutely. My first time. Please tell me, please, that you learned something, that ABS now has a meaning, that it's not just a yes. term that the car comes with. I, well, I never knew. I still don't know what it stands for, ABS. It's for abs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, for, it's, for, it's for your six pack. But I know it's important. It's important in terms of, so it's a modulated braking system. So in other words, it prevents you, like you saw now, from locking up when mm -hmm. we disconnected the ABS. You saw what happened, Zoe. Yeah. If there was a kid or a wall or another car, tickets. It's, 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 it's quite scary to you know mm. to know that you don't have control of the car without ABS. Mm. But I think what I learned today was to trust the brakes mm. and to trust the car and not mm. be scared to actually hit the brakes but be able to control the car. And I think that was for me was a big thing. It's probably also cool to trust yourself because I think that's the challenge is you don't mm. get these opportunities to do this. So like everyone asks me, is the car going to roll? Is this going to happen? But I think when you put in that environment, it gives you the confidence. Next time I guarantee you, Sashi, when you're in that situation, something happens, you'll jump on the brakes and no, keep calm mm -hmm. and avoid. Yeah, I absolutely. Hope. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Now we've got to get you to go faster. This is a bit that you at home are dying to see, but you're going to have to wait until after the break. Hello and welcome back to Speed Stars. Now, before we get around to finding which of our two leading ladies will emerge as the winners today, it's time for you at home to get in on the action. Head to our website, www.speedstars.co.za, predict the winner in this week's matchup, and you could win an advanced driving course valued at 3,000 Rand from Volkswagen Driving Academy. Open your web browser and type in parking fails. <laughs> Yeah, what you're gonna find are thousands of photos, videos, GIFs. Hilarious, but super disturbing at the same time of people getting parking horribly wrong. We are hoping that our celebrities are not gonna find themselves on that list in this week's charity challenge. It's parking, a lot can go wrong. Hoping to kick some butts or chops in his team of Zoe, Cliff and Jenna. Up against Mike with Luvo, Emma, Jesse and Sashi. Our two identical parking arenas would see our stars having to alley dock and parallel park as quickly as possible in head-to-head -head races to determine the winning team. While knocking of cones was not allowed, mates could support, motivate and assist. Not that Zoe Brown needed any help. Wow. That's it, perfect. Sashi, on the other hand, well, she kept her team rather busy. She nailed that. I'm like, <laughs> thanks to Zoe's efforts, Chops and his team were one up. So Emma Sadlier really needed to park smart to square things up for her team. But she was up against Pig Spotter who ignored his spotters and nearly hammed that up. Very quick recovery though, and that's thumbs up for Tua. <laughs> could Jesse Clegg restore some pride for Mike and his team in his park off against Chen Ward? And she's paddled that cone. The canoe is looking a little like a duck out of water. <laughs> while Jesse parks into the top spot. 
Uh, we're going to negate your jump start and we're going to forget about you knocking over a cone. So that makes it all even. <laughs> so well done. 2,500 Rent the Wilderness Foundation goes to... It is an extremely dire situation right now. We're working alongside all the, the government agencies, South Africa being sort of the custodians of 90% of the world's rhino. Uh, we feel that we, we have a sort of a global um, responsibility to you know, make sure the species survives. That's 2,500 rand donated by Goodyear to the Wilderness Foundation. Gee, some of our guests are quicker in reverse. Anyway, time now to get down to some serious business. This week's two guests are used to appearing on TV, radio, magazines, and big ad campaigns. It's time now for them to appear on the racetrack. Each of our celebrity guests receive expert advice and on-track training from the VW Driving Academy instructors in the Golf GTIs before switching to our race spec polos for their hot lap training with race aces Mike and Chops. Oh yes, they are back. Chops, of course, the man who changed the face of local motorsport, and Mike, the multiple production and touring car champion. Brakes, more braking, more braking, more, 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 more. And now you wanna follow this, not too fast. There we go, you see, if you go too fast, slow in and then only fast out. Now yeah, you brake only, keep it like that, don't say anything. Now it's a second hard on the rack, so you don't have enough brake pressure. Okay, so that's what you need, you need more braking. More brake, okay, yep. so I don't brake enough. That's that. And far left, far left, far left, now brake, 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 brake. Stay here. Then you turn in, stay here, there we go. Now accelerate out. There we go, which means always slow in fourth gear now. I'm doing it wrong. Is that like a nervous grin? <laughs> like I survived training on a track. Are you okay? It was so hard. call a medic. Okay, so first we had someone go around with us and we were like in the passenger seat. And thank goodness breakfast was quite a few hours earlier. And lunch. I did feed you as well, don't oh, people think I haven't no, fed you? There, there was some nausea and lots of holding on to everything. It, it's scary. And it only got worse when you were driving. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think he was also pretty scared when I was driving. <laughs> Zoe, it looks like you absolutely loved that. I loved it. I think I had a lot of nervous laughter. So there was laughing, but I don't think it was from... I think <laughs> the adrenaline got the better of me, but it was so cool. So cool. <laughs> Are you ready to Jordan. race? I'm yes. not ready. So what should I do? Just cancel the whole show? You don't want to go? <laughs> Guys, it's, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm not ready. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is one of those times where you're just going to have to go with it. Suck, Suck it, up, it up, take a yeah. deep breath. Go on, put in your big girl panties and yeah. I can. you want to borrow mine? <laughs> okay, this is it. Let's have a look. Okay. The moment of truth. Sashi Naidu, Zoe Brown, head to head on the Speed Stars track. The challenge. Two stars, two cars, one track in a head to head race around Swat Corps. Each with their own start and finish line, whoever completes the two laps fastest wins. For Zoe and Sashi, Light's camera action was about to take on a whole new meaning as they launched into their two lap race. Sashi definitely taking Tutu's slow in advice, but not looking that fast out of two. While Zoe is the complete opposite, wow, that was a big moment. Turn five certainly catching out a lot of our stars this season. 
Sashi is looking really quick up the back straight. But slowing the polo down far too much through what is a really quick turn four. I do love that look of sheer focus. Or is that sheer fear? That little moment has definitely given Zoe a good wake-up call. A lot more careful through turn eight, leaving lots of room on the exit. Our comparison up on the tabletop section clearly shows the two different approaches. Zoe faster on the way in, but compromised on the way out. Sashi slower in, but with a better drive on the way out. Will Zoe's fearless approach pay off? Or will Sashi's cautiousness catch her out? Definitely different driving it all by myself without someone next to me saying, break, go, break, go. I did it, I'm still alive, and the car's in one piece. I really want to do this again. I think I'm more of a cautious driver than I thought. <laughs> How was that race hot lap on your own experience? I thought you were going to cry before the race. <laughs> When I was speaking <laughs> to you, so those were tears, eh? Were you scared? I was scared. Also because you don't have someone with you telling you what to do. And then right towards the end of my training, my trainer says, oh, this is where a lot of people crack. Oh, that's and the I'm worst sorry. thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah. How do you think you did? I don't know. I don't think great. I'm hoping I'm not at the bottom of the log, but mm -hmm. yeah. You came in saying you like you're quite an aggressive driver and quite fast. Has this kind of changed your whole view in terms of how you how you drive now? A different I'm respect for not cars a race and speed. Car driver. Everything scares me about it. It's too much adrenaline. It's the it's cars noisy. It's got a rugged feel. <laughs> all the good things. Uh, no. all, the thing, all the things I love. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a, too much adrenaline, maybe. You on the other end. I really loved every moment out on the track. Two of the corners I was able to do flat out. That was like a wow. mini goal for myself. Yeah, she, she'd much rather be on the track than in studio <laughs> talking about it. Okay, let's, let's put you out of your misery. So the way it works, we run a viewer competition at home. It's a two lap race. I'm gonna reveal the combined time to see who won between the two of you. Okay. Um, we've got a 327 versus a 307. So the fastest over the two laps was Zoe. So congratulations, you, you've won that. But more importantly, <laughs> More importantly, let's reveal, let's reveal your lap time. So, Sasha, we'll go with you first. You said you didn't want to be at the bottom. Is that right? Oh, gosh, I might. Oh, I, I, I hate to do this to you, but at the bottom is kind of where we're putting you oh, with a 140.84. No. You're the strongest. You're holding everyone up. Hey, but hang on. <laughs> oh, wow. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. It's, like, it's, 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 it's turned into a motivational show. Okay, let, let's do this, because this will make you happy. We can it's move some spaces seven. down here. Um, Zoe, anybody you want to beat? You've beaten Elmo, which is a good name. So you beat, you beat, beat Danae. Oh, wow. you know what? If Justin, you beat Justin. Wow. Um, okay, wait, wow, you actually beat Jason Goliath. <laughs> and Rishlu B is where you stop. So we've slotted you in there with a 129.96. Wow. Officially, right now, Zoe Brown is the fastest girl on our Speed Stars leaderboard. That is awesome. Yay. That is really cool. I'm Two, impressed. Four, I'm top six. I'm, I'm listen, going with the fact the that you are holding up the bottom. But listen, it's not, it's not all over. We've got another two shows to go. So. Yes, well, hopefully there will be someone. Yes, <laughs> let's hope so. But listen, thank you so much for joining in the fun, for giving your time, and, and well done. Hope you're going to be safer, better drivers out there. Yes, I, I doubt I'll ever take a corner like that again. <laughs> please, 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 please don't on your way home, okay? No, 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 I promise I won't. Hey, hey, listen, the good news, we had our viewer competition as well, and obviously one of you at home predicted that Zoe Brown would be winning this. Let's have a look at who our lucky winner is. Congratulations to this week's lucky winner. You have 3,000 Rand to spend on any Goodyear tyres fitted at your nearest HiQ centre. Well done. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show, but have a look at this. Zoe Brown, our fastest lady and in sixth position. So at the moment, she's secure for our finals at the end of the season. Is she going to stay there? That remains a big question. We've got quite a few guests still to come. What I need you to do is head over to our website and enter our Predict the Winner competition and you could be a winner as well. Next week's two guests are celebrities of the social media realm. Cliff Pigspotter Pinto and Emma Sadlia both fight for justice but in very different ways. But until next week, try and park between the lines. You may not know the name Cliff Pinto, 
but his social media pseudonym, Pigspotter, is a household name. Our go-to guy for all the goings on on South African roads, Cliff is hoping to pick a spot on the top of our leaderboard. As a lawyer specializing in print, electronic and social media law, Emma Sadlier is the go-to girl in this domain. A regular on radio and television, she'll tell you why not to film yourself having sex, but was happy for us to film her driving. That was awesome. I nearly lost it. I spun out at one stage, uh, which is so stupid.